Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? And welcome to another episode of Tell It As It Is or Shut Up, Guyana. Right? It is now Sunday, May 24th, 2020, and we are still counting down what's going on with the elections. We have some other news to bring up to you. We got some history to hit you with a little bit today. And we want to make sure that everyone enjoys this show today. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and share this out to everybody. I'm going to ask that you do the same so that we can actually get an honest opinion about what's going on in Guyanese politics out to the rest of the world. I think that's very important because too much misinformation is going around at this particular point in time. And we need to get the facts out there in order to protect Guyanese around the world. All right, to protect our country with what's going on, right? Because, like I said, it's just too much nonsense. And uh, we, the people, we need to stand up. We need to stay informed. We need to inform each other. It is a responsibility that we have to one another in terms of being our brother's keeper, right? Now, uh, I don't like to waste too much time. In fact, I don't want to waste any time, right? So I'm going to tell all my sponsors thank you very much. Tell all the viewers I thank you guys very much for watching the show. I don't want to waste your time. I know it's Sunday. There's a lot going on. Happy Eid, right? Uh, I believe that's how you do it, or Eid Mubarak, I believe, right? To all the Muslims in the country, may you all have a blessed day, right? Uh, I believe today and tomorrow is also considered a holiday here in Guyana. So, you know, everyone enjoy and have a safe day, okay? Remember, uh, especially during religious holidays, uh, when we're technically supposed to be really good to each other or traditionally we're good to each other, don't let this whole election cycle and everything stop you from being good to one another, right? Uh, because the only way to fight hate is with love, so we must be able to show love to one another and make sure that you know our people are all right. Now, quickly on note of the elections update, ladies and gentlemen. Well, those of you know, we're, we're maybe 20-something days or something like that into the elections recount, right, give or take. Uh, no, actually, sorry, day 18, I believe, into elections recount. It just feels so damn long, right, because the election was technically on March 2nd, and we are now on May 24th. Uh, my personal opinion, all persons involved in this shit should be going to jail because... It is just too much nonsense, right? Uh, only about 41% of the actual ballot, ballot boxes have been counted, all right? Uh, so far, almost every box that uh, Mingo has touched or made a declaration on, uh, there has been variances in it where, you know, it, it shows that Mingo has lied, right? Yet for some reason... Mingo has not been officially charged by the police department. He has not been released by GCOM. GCOM is still putting their umbrella over him to protect him. You know, this, this is bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about how you look at it, but it's complete bullshit, right? Uh, in my opinion, right? There was a man who used to be alive, and he made a statement a long time ago, and that statement was, people's power, no dictatorships. Okay, people's power and no dictatorships, and they killed that man. The political leaders in this country came together and killed that man, but that man's words still ring out to a day like today. He was a black scholar. That man's name was Dr. Walter Rodney. Okay, and Rodney, as a young black scholar, understood the danger of the Burnhamite philosophy. And he stood against it. He understood the danger of the Soviet philosophy. So he stood against it. And in exchange, they killed the man. Right? So I want you to know what's going on. Now, it's a sad story. Because, you know, Walter Rodney was the head of the WPA. The man, he coming up fast. He making strides. You're writing books about how uh, England underdeveloped Africa and other places because this man, he went, he studied, he watched, he saw what was going on, and he tried to educate the people. 
But you see, as smart as Mr. Rodney was, he, he forgot one thing. Sometimes people like to stay ignorant, right? Especially if it's giving them what they want, they like to stay ignorant. They like that bliss within the ignorance because it allows them to get away with all of their bullshit. And they kill that man. Our man like Vincent Tico, Father Doc, you know? A lot of people who stand up against what is going on. A lot of black people who stand up strong against dictatorships and oppression here in this country. And they were executed. Right? So I want you guys to know and understand that even my days might be numbered. Because history has a tendency of repeating itself. But ladies and gentlemen, does it have to? Does it have to repeat itself? Right? Do we have to accept what is going on? Can't we finally make a stand? Or the blood of heroes must go down the drain for standing up to monsters and dictators. Right? That is for you to know, ladies and gentlemen. Because at the end of the day, there are some genuine people willing to fight for you. But the bottom line is, you can't want somebody to come and risk their lives and risk everything. And all y'all do for yourself is talk and sit in a kind of, Oh my God, what we gonna do? What do you mean, what are you gonna do? You gotta stand up. What are you gonna do? It's what you gonna do if you don't do nothing. This is where the issue is. Yesterday, if you watch uh, my live daily vlogs, which is basically becoming my own reality show now, right? Uh, you would have noticed that a spy came to my facility. Can't give name. Came under the pretense that they were looking for a job. Right? Um, so if you watch the videos on the, uh, my regular vlog, you would be able to see what happened in that scenario. Right? Imagine they send a young Amerindian woman in. But the woman wasn't too smart. She claimed to be a mechanic. The only tool she can name is a wrench. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. She gave her address. The address is a restaurant in Georgetown. It's not, a, it's not no home address. Right? When we run the background, she's connected to the Guyana Police Department. What does that tell you, ladies and gentlemen? What does that tell you? I had to go and sanitize my whole place and do a whole bunch of nonsense. Well, let me tell you all this, right? Miss, when you briefly flashed me your face there, we got your picture. Any funny business, I skinning you up out over this world. Letting you know. Because I don't know who goes to fill out for a job and don't walk with ID, don't walk with nothing. Right? And ladies and gentlemen, I am sure when you go now and you watch this video from yesterday, you yourself will be able to catch all the areas that this person come and lie. The first thing was, when we approached this situation, I let the person know this interview is going to be live. And I don't know why I did that, but I had a feeling. I had a good feeling about this thing for just do this thing live. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, was I, was I ever so right to go with that feeling because that whole situation yesterday could have went completely different. Because let me explain something to you. Back in 2011, when I was the presidential candidate for the FSG, which is the Fundamental Structure Group of Guyana, somebody came into one of my businesses, pretended to be a customer, him and his colleagues had their own fight inside my place, which to me looks like a setup now. I called the police. I even called the man's wife to come and pick him up after the other man beat the ass. And they turn around now and blame it on me. And the police wanted a million dollars. Plus, they are still trying to push it on me. Politicians and political parties intervened into my case and used it to their advantage to wrongfully put me in prison. This is a big setup, ladies and gentlemen. So yesterday, it looks like they're trying to do the same thing by sending their spies in. 
Now, I noticed that they probably think that I favor Amerindian people over everybody else. I don't favor anybody. I don't favor any particular race or anything like that, right? I just know right is right and wrong is wrong. Guyana is an Amerindian country, just as India is an Indian country and Africa is a black man country, scunt, right? So to each their own, right? So no race shouldn't bully the Amerindians this, in this country for what is their own. I see two races fighting all the time, so I talk about it. The two races fight as if this is them country. It's not them country. It's everybody country, but primarily, there was somebody here before us. And you got to give respect to those people. The same way blacks give respect to Africa and the same way Indians give respect to India, you should give respect to the Amerindians who were here before us. Hence the word Guyana, meaning land of many waters, it's an Amerindian word. Okay? But, lo and behold, the Amerindians don't really get much respect because, you know, they were not, and I quote, as civilized as the Indians or the blacks, apparently. But if this skunt that you call is civilized going on in GCOM right now, please, Amerindians, take back your country, skunt. I'd rather some native justice because this skunt taking too long, right? i telling you straight. No, some people may not like that. That's perfectly fine, right? That is perfectly fine, Right? But I tell you this, throughout the history of our country, blacks and Indians who fear justice and the rule of law has killed other leaders who are coming up of their own race. That's a serious thing. This is a serious thing. But these days it's a little hard for them to keep everything quiet, thank God, because social media the internet and all of these things, right, help to expose them, right? Now, after this show here, I'm actually going to air the, the video where we were doing the interview with this young lady, right? I can't show her face legally, right? Just letting you know, I can't legally show her face or, or, or legally give you her name, but I want you to listen to what she's saying, because as soon as she heard that we were alive, she was extraordinarily apprehensive, right? You know, I, I, I don't get it. You come for a job. I will if I help you get the job. You want me to put you into work. You want me to put my name and credibility on the line to send you to a stranger to work, but you don't walk with ID. You tell me you got qualifications. You walk with nothing to prove your qualifications. You tell me you're a mechanic. When I ask, the only thing that you could tell me that you know about as a tool is a wrench, right? These, these are funny, funny things. Yes, John, this is actually live, John, right? So I hope you're watching. So this is live right here, right? Um, this isn't pre-recorded right now, right? You will get it back on YouTube, by the way. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on to YouTube. Uh, it'll help us get to a lot more people. And at the same time, YouTube can help us raise up uh, and keep our program running because, you know, you know, we don't really get a whole bunch of financial contributions, right? So we do our part to just make sure that we can get the truth out there. We're not aligned with any major political party here in this country, so I'm letting you know. So when you're here, we're coming out the wee mouth. Nobody don't pay me for talk the truth, right? I talk the truth whether I get paid or not, right? Uh, truth is the truth, and it shall set us free, Okay. Uh, to Shireen, yeah, damn straight. Rodney would have made a damn good leader for this country, and they knew it. That's why they killed him. Right? And any potential person who can make a damn good leader for this country, they have a tendency of both of them working together to kill the new people coming up. Right? I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be amazed if all of this nonsense that's happening right now is a huge ploy just to keep all these new small parties out because it damages the status quo that has been there between the two major groups for donkey years, right? Um, notwithstanding, one of the groups, in my opinion, is worse than the next. So definitely you got, you got to choose the lesser of the two evils because one you can walk with and the next you can't at all because one is financially driven and the next one is racially driven. And there's no way I support anything that is racially driven because that, in the end of the day, would cause an ostracism of half of our society, right? 
You know, there, there's a lot of things going on that a lot of people don't know about. And most of us are fed information from from places like Newsroom or News Source. And, and let me tell you what, all them places are set up pokey news by. Let me tell you this. Right? I didn't even know how to say it. Because anybody who paying a higher price or anyone who giving them favoritism, they're going to speak good about them. But people who tell the truth, scunt, they just blast them down. Right? They just go with all the anti-man news reporters and they just start hammering down the good people. But God sent somebody for deal with you. When Valda went for raise the dead, she ain't knows Rodney she raised. She raised the wrong black man, but she raised the right one for the challenge. He there about. And that's why on a day like today, I could tell you, the people's power, no dictatorship. Okay? I was watching a video uh, by Georgia Guyana. I don't know if you guys know Georgia Guyana, right? That's George Correa, right? I can also click up the video too. And the man is talk raw, but the man is talk the truth. Well, Sweetness Evans, I'm happy that you have a green and a yellow heart. You should probably go and check that out, right? Because most human beings have a red heart, uh, for the most part, with blood in it. If yours is green and yellow, there might be some type of biological issue there, right? But it's okay, and I respect the fact that you that you like uh, the green and yellow, which is, I guess, AFC. Is that AFC or is that supposed to be uh, Apnu? I, I, I don't know anymore. All right? I don't even think any of the damn politicians should own colors. They, they make the colors. They bring shame to the colors, cunt. I can tell you that much, right? Um, thank you very much, somebody, for putting a red heart because red hearts, we have red hearts, right? Uh, <laughs> right? And that's not a PBB thing. That's just, you know, your heart is red, cunt, right? Um, you know, at least everybody's heart I've seen, right? But uh, some people got green and yellow heart, and I think there's a medical condition that needs to be addressed there, right? Uh, when it comes to your green and your yellow heart. It's a heart that might not be functioning correctly, right? So make sure you go and you check that out. All right. Now, let's talk about a little bit of uh, distraction, right? Right, because GCOM is on the move with a distraction scenario, right now they want you to watch this hand so they can slap you with this one right now they ducking and diving away into all this recount they ducking and diving into other areas to, to just kind of distract you away from what has already transpired okay what has already transpired is a man has committed a crime where he has attempted not once not twice but three times this man has collect, co committed electoral fraud. Three times. Three. Three times this man has attempted to commit electoral fraud and not just attempted, the, the idiot changed numbers and got caught. But g people protecting the man. So, who should be blamed? And I'll state it again, I'm calling on an interim government because the police department, right, the prosecutors and everybody, nobody seems to want to do anything about this crime. And I know about y'all, this whole country might upturn soon because there are a lot of smart criminals out there getting charged for all the smart things and going to jail and getting locked up and locked down and all sorts of things, Right? Do you really know what you're doing to the country, GCOM? Do you really know what you're doing to the country, Apnu? Do you know how bad this is about to backfire on you? Don't you see the backfire in it? Do you have any idea how many of y'all about to go to jail? Maybe you do. Maybe that's why you're fighting so hard. I know y'all understand the amount of money to get the to the treasury into false projects and contracts and wasteful spending and all of these things. And you're terrified. I know you're terrified. Because two thief does make God laugh. So when you thief now, God going to put in another thief for watch you because the next thief know where all the areas for thief from. So plenty of y'all know that some of y'all got to go to jail. The question is, when the PPP gets back into power, are they going to actually ensure that these people go to jail? Or are they going to once again play the husband and wife story that they display to keep all of the new groups out of parliament? 
See, this time it's a big danger. It's a big danger. Right? So, you, you got to understand that it is a huge, huge danger. Right? Now, they're creating more smoke screens. Vincent Alexander was absolutely right. Even if he did do something illegal, it wasn't just him, it was the whole commission. And the commission is composed of both PPP and APNU, which means the whole commission has been compromised. And if the whole commission has been compromised, and Mr. Alexander knows that these type of compromisations could have been happening throughout the administration, Mr. Alexander has been on GCON board, right, for X amount of time. Maybe a decade. Mm -hmm. So how many other election cycles have Mr. Alexander seen being compromised and he has refused to act? Mr. Alexander, you're a brilliant man, so you teach me some things. You know this. But you didn't teach me this teeth in scunt. I could tell you that much. I watch and learn the scunt from you. I watch how you're doing it. Right? But I also watched all the loopholes that you keep for yourself because I know you as a brilliant man. And you as well as I know, Mr. Alexander, we know what has happened inside that commission. We know how the two major groups has worked together for keep everybody out. It's just that now it backfired. Right now it backfired upon the PPP, so the PPP got to talk out hard. And APNU take full advantage of it. Right? You see, that is why it is important for us to have transparent systems, ladies and gentlemen. Especially when it comes to our elections and, and picking leaders and so on and so forth. Because all of the nonsense that the PPP left and allowed to happen over their 23 years has just backfired on them in such a huge way. You have no idea. Now we are at, in a fight for our democracy which is a fight that happened how many donkey years ago and we have to fight it again because these old jackasses just want to keep loopholes so they could keep thiefing and doing the nonsense. I say personally, jail all who involve. If you're PPP, you should go to jail. If you're involved in electoral fraud, if you're new AFC, PNC, you need to go to jail for all electoral fraud that is involved and I ain't just talking about now I talking about from the beginning of history skunt if you're old and you're still alive and we catch it you gotta go to prison I ain't care if you're dead you're old skunt and death you gotta go to prison right is right and wrong is wrong right you can't you can't come left and right with this thing you know it's because of the left and right scenario we still waiting for a damn election result right it's because of pencil pencil vote People, people voting with pencil skunt and a set of illiterate people, favoritism picking GCOM workers and all sorts of nonsense. We there in this skunt right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I think after this election, y'all better, better skunt make me the chairman of GCOM. You want to see fairness, skunt? You want to see jail? You want to see like or make me the DPP? Or put me in charge of public security, skunt? At least I can see straight. Right? Because I'm just down can't see where the hell he going, much less the honest truth in front of you. And that's a fact. I could prove this squint. I could prove that Ramjatan is incompetent of doing his job. And I could prove it on about six or seven different instances. Right? I could prove that Ramjatan and Nagamutu are two hungry, power hungry people. Traitorous to the cause. Traitors to the fight for democracy. I could show you though. Right? I could definitely show you though. It is a fact, right? So why is it Mingo arrested? Well, because Mingo know. The minute you lock up Mingo and Mingo here, life sentence in Camp Street Prison. Mingo go start talk, scunt. You want to hear Mingo talk? I'm telling you, put, put a writing man in charge, in charge of locking up people, especially based on evidence. Mingo gonna start talk. Mingo gonna talk fast. Hi, right, good morning. You want to tell it as it is or shut up? Hello? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. 
I don't know why I can't hear you, man. Let's let's go again. Go ahead, say something. Yes, you are on air, Mr. Karaya. You are live on air. Well, I do not know if today is Eid for the Muslim, but I got to understand it's the I don't really celebrate holidays, right? So I'm just going on the fact that everybody's saying it's Eid, so we want another holiday. Shit, take another holiday, right? Um, well, <laughs> I mean, I know Ramadan was recent, but, I, you know, I'm not big on I, I don't even celebrate Christmas, so, you know. We can go from well, there. In some area, I mean, 99% of my family are Muslims. And I mean, that has nothing to do with the show right now, though. So go ahead. Tell, tell me what tell me what you call for tell me. Don't talk, Scott. Let me go. Call for make a pint, make a pint. Calling the lady you were speaking about. I try. Your phone is breaking up bad, Mr. Cryer. You need to get to a place with better reception and call me back. Okay, I, well, I'm hearing you now. I feel like I'm on a Verizon call. Yeah, I'm hearing you now. I'm hearing you now. Get to the point, my brother. Get to the point. If not, I, I could put up your video because I think your video uh, said a lot. So I'm going to be airing your YouTube video uh, after this show. Right? I have your permission to air your video, right, before you sue me. Come on, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, she looks out like an Armenian to me. And according to you, she might be a spy. Well, I have a message to the Armenian society and community. The two major races does not care for them. They only keep them. The only body that fight for the Armenian in the 60s was Peter the guard the late. Anyone who come after that from man who write back, these are hypocrites. They use what is necessary to get where they want to go, and they forgot it. And man who, nothing personal. Okay, well, stop, uh, stop right there. I, I ain't going into all uh, this personal stuff. I actually you make a point. Hey, listen, if you want, listen, 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 let me tell you something, Mr. Cry. If you want to pick a personal fucking fight with somebody, do it on your channel, right? Right? No, I'm explaining right? because he was, was a ref leader, but there was no representation. When all my loops decided... Yeah, and if he is as judge. ...the window was dying, nobody was... Well, Mr. Karaya, if you... Mr. Karaya, I can tell you something. If you vex with anything Mr. Manzor Nadir did in the past, well, then you got your own self to blame. Because last I checked, with the United Force, I remember growing up, I see you sell my mother car and all type of thing and put money into into political party and this and this and this and this, right? I see you take jewelry, everything that was destined to give to your kids and you give it to he after he get robbed, scunt in, in Queens or Brooklyn or something. Only to... He was robbing George Stone. He was robbing George Stone. But I, I don't know. I, know. I know you take things that were supposed to go to your children and you give it to political people for help them because you said, you know what? These people got promise. Yeah, promise, skunt. They promise and they sell you. I'll skunt them out. Yeah, I got to know what's going on. Right? So, please, right now, don't come here. Listen, don't come here and pick no personal fight with people. I'm telling you this. Right? Good. Under the late boss, Burnham, I want to ask his supporter, what did he leave for you? Did you have a house? Do you have a car? Do you have property sharing? Well, I want to tell you. You should be a profit sharer into the country, not taxpayer. 65 members of parliament hold the nation ransom. Where is the army? Where is the police force? Are they I, 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 Mr. Karaya? Mr. Karaya? Mr. Karaya? Uh, Mr. Karaya? Uh, Mr. Karaya, let me tell you this. I, I think that's stuff that we're already addressing. If you, want, if you want to say the same thing that I'm saying... Well, you just come here, sit down, and let me get the fuck off of TV, and you and you could go ahead and you could do this, you know, right? But don't say the same. Don't say the same thing I saying. Listen, I, I'm not really, I'm not really in on redundancy. I'm done. You got your channel, Mr. Karaya. I want you to make a point. I don't want you to say you want to take over the fucking show. Oh, scunt. That's what you want to do. You old crass and scunt. That's what you want to do. Come and take over the fucking show. Then this is the thing that I don't get. Y'all old people is really fucking annoying me, man. And this is why I got cuss. You got your own channel. You got your own thing. Make your pint 
and get off and move on. Please do that. And then when I turn around, I cuss you. You get vexed and you say, man, people telling you, don't say no. You calling now and you trying to pull me off my pipe, man. Shit, I don't do that to you. You don't do that shit to me. Right? It's annoying. It's very, very annoying. Extraordinarily annoying. Right? This is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. All them old people, they, they still here complaining about things. The old people's part of the problem. Who put the people there? Listen, I hear Mr. Karaya talking right now about Mr. Manzo. Mr. Manzo would have never been anywhere without Mr. Karaya. Mr. Karaya is part of his own problem. I ain't even hearing nothing about Manzo. Why even bring up the man now? That's some personal, G. That's some personal. I ain't want no personal problem here, man. I got my own personal problem. Skunt. You and Manzo could go make love in a car and a skunt. I ain't got time with a skunt. Telling me about Manzo or y'all should have never put it there. That is the problem. You make bad decisions and then the children got to face it. And this is what's happening right now. Our predecessors have made ridiculous decisions. And now we have this GCOM shenanigans going on. It doesn't matter, Gopal, if it's my father or not my father. Right is right and wrong is wrong. He can't, my father can't tell me about corruption in the PPP and in 92, my father helped put the PPP in power scunt. Part of the problem. Right is right and wrong is wrong. I don't like dance wrong on side. I ain't got time for dance wrong on side. Because we, the youths, are paying for the decisions of them. Back then, my father should have picked up arms and he should have went into a war scunt and we should have really freed the nation. But the nation wasn't ready for that. This, this is the reality. Oh, scunt, you ain't want to know what has happened when we there. One house, you know. Well, forgive me. Forgive me for the children who are watching the show. I don't mean to, but... Little boys and little girls got to understand too, at one point in time, you're going to grow up. And if your parents aren't making good decisions, they're going to have to pay for those decisions. We can sugarcoat it. We can, we can dress it up. We can put makeup on the ugly woman, but she's still an ugly woman at the end of the day. You can't change though, unless you have a different perception. And ignorance is the perception of the day. Because out of ignorance... Half of our country is accepting what GCOM doing because they are racially bound. Out of ignorance, the police and military are behaving as a private militia. Out of ignorance. Well, Omar, Day on the Rhine, right? It's okay if you want to beat out my buddy. I know the truth does hurt, G, right? But my job is to tell it as it is. If you want nice talk, Go into church and let the pastor lie to you. It's Sunday. You should probably be there. Right? I know you might take it as disrespect, but you tuned into me. I ain't tuned into you, mother scunt. Right? Let me put this straight. I did here on the ground, suffering. So I got a right for talk. I know people don't like it. But what are you going to do? I don't like the treatment I get in. You see me bombing down your door, coming to you Facebook? You see me doing that? I look like I'm here to make friends. I ain't here to make friends. Not my father on the phone. He just get it because he dep on scunt. You think a stranger gonna come to me with it too? Man, don't tell me nonsense. Also, if people talking about cuss and cuss and cuss, why are you even letting your children watch a show that's based with Guyanese politics? Guyanese politics is the worst thing in the world. Look, it, it, made, it made a whole parliament lose the ability to count to 65. What are you telling me? You want to be soft about this thing? When the man is raping the constitution? You want to be soft about it? How, how you want to handle the thing now? A man cuffing you in your face, you want to shake your hand now? Tell me. Because if that's the case, you're just as stupid as the rest, Gunt, and I ain't really got no time. Right? This is the whole thing, you know? Right? Yeah, listen, let me tell you something, right? I tell it as it is. 
I'm here. I'm not trying to be anything I'm not. Right? I ain't got to put on a suit and go out there and play nice by. Right? I ain't got to do none of that. What you see is what you get. I'm straight. Right? That's what this is about. This isn't no lie. This ain't got time for, for, for help anybody feel nice about their day. I'm not here to make you feel nice. That's like telling God when he comes for judgment. God, you, you could tell me the truth, but bye. You got, you got to find a nice way to tell me so I understand. You can't tell God, though. Truth is truth. You don't like it? Change reality. And the opportunity is almost upon us to change reality. As you can see, I ain't start off my show with a cuss. But I can tell you this. As soon as I see somebody coming in, whether it's my father, whether it's my uncle, whether it's my grandfather, even a stranger, and you come and you trying to twist this whole thing around, you, you trying to tell me about how to act now and you part of the problem? No, I got to dig it in you, man. I got to dig it in you. Father, no father. He got the own show stunt. Georgia Guyana. Let him go there. I can tell you though. Because when they wrongfully put me in jail, it was me in jail. And let me tell you what. Nobody don't talk nice to you there, you know. Or why you know this? Nobody don't talk no please and thank you. You understand? Ain't none of that. Right? So... If you come here, you come here for an honest opinion. Yeah. I may be colorful with my language. But Guyana got six races. Why people are always making it about color? Tell me this. I understand. The point is, we're dealing with one thing. He gone into some. I don't need to talk about Manzo. Manzo got the own headache, man. Why want to talk about Manzo? And just skunk getting old too. He got the grand cheer and he got things. Yeah, he, he committed his sins or whatnot. But the man I've seen now, I don't really hear too much about the man. Why are you going to go bring up the man? I don't want no people's personal problems here, man. And that's the thing. My father got personal problems with a lot of people. And that's why I don't even trust his judgment all the time. And never mind, he's my father, but right is right and wrong is wrong. That is how he has raised me. And it has become something to where he can't even come and tell me nonsense because I can deal with the case. Because he did not raise a follower, ladies and gentlemen. My father rose a leader. And I am here to rise the rest of the leaders out of this country because the real leaders need to take their place. That is a fact. The real leaders need to take their place. We need to get these jackasses out from where they're at. Right now, Apnu. And GCOM trying to create more smoke screens. They want to distract you from one thing. They want to distract you from a crime that has already been committed. Talk about that, Mr. Correa. And don't jump off of it until you see a damn result. Because I'm going to tell you that I ain't moving until I see a result. Mingo must go to jail. And I don't know about anybody. I was wrongfully put in jail for a crime I did not commit that they could not prove that they had no solid witnesses or anything for and they put me in jail wrongfully. Well, damn well, let me tell you this. Mingo got too much witnesses who bear and see the skunt he do. And I ain't dead in skunt until I see he go to jail. What's yet? He played to be a pastor, but Jesus sent me for deal with your skunt by. You ain't even know. Right? When Jesus go and upturn all the tables in the tabernacle and start beat them. Nobody can tell Jesus, he, he, Jesus, why you cuss? What happened? You think Jesus went to say, can you, can you please stop gambling in my father's house? Jesus didn't say that shit. Jesus got vexed. Jesus started heist up, broke up, throw down, scut. Jesus ain't play. Even the Bible tell you, when Jesus coming back, now he coming with a sword. So what do you think? You think he going to come and talk to you? You think judgment coming for talk? This thing, this thing passed talk long ago. This bureaucracy bullshit that's happening there right now, this is all just a show. That's what this is. This is a show. This is to pacify the ignorant and the stupid. But real thing, ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of you 
may not fully understand where I am coming from, and I pray that you never have to go through what I have went through, what my family has went through. I pray that you never have to feel the blunt of all of their corruption like I have had to feel it thus far. But this is why I am here and I am talking because as it is, I see the danger coming and what was done to me will be done on a larger scale to a majority of innocent and honest-minded people here in this country. And I'm already in the sauce. They're already attacking me. So I'm going to take the blood for you. They don't let me go down in vain. That's all I ask. They don't let me go down in vain, Scott. Because in my whole life, I'm sacrificing for this. Guyana is all I got. I ain't got time with relationship. My children are okay. They're growing up. They're going to be good. They ain't safe zone. But what these bastards did to me, they're planning on doing to everyone. And this is why I keep talking about it. Because I know, and I don't want you to be distracted. I want you to focus. All right? Focus, ladies and gentlemen. Just focus. We ain't looking for favoritism. All we're looking for is justice. And justice is very straightforward. You're either right or you're wrong. There are rules written. There are laws that have been broken. And there's nothing that has been done to the perpetrators. Okay? But yet the small man is being penalized every day based on their opinion. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you see something wrong there? Oh, oh, you ain't see something wrong there? You understand? There's something very, very serious going on there. Right? Of course, my father, my, Yogita, my father was very hurt when I was in jail. And I know my father. Before he die, he can go kill all of them. I know that. Nobody ain't got to tell me. Before he die, he going for all of them. And I don't blame him. But he going to wait till he about to go, and then he going to lose his dogs. Because you don't touch a man's child and think that that man ain't coming back for you. Not in me family. It don't work like that. So if they can't move out peacefully, they're going to get moved out. But not by me. Right? By the people that they have affected the most. You see, I connected to 100,000 seniors who don't know they don't live their life. Who don't know the only thing they're fighting for is their future. Right? The man don't mind do what they got to do, you know. Because at the end of the day, too much people going to suffer if the man don't act. Right? East Indians in this country have become cowards. Taking your bullying and going in the car now. Look, I call them for demand them in the country for rise up. But everybody just throwing support behind a liar or, or, or an economic person. Listen, man. Oh, that man, I'm good with numbers and good in court. But this thing is a lot more than numbers in court, you know. This thing going to get physical. Because when you stand up, they're going to want to bully you. And they ain't bullying you with paperwork, you know. They're bullying you with gun. So what are you going to do? You're, take, you're, you're taking a paper to a gunfight where you're a real dunce scunt. You're going to dead. Right? Let me tell you. Does the fact. You're going to take, you take, take your checkbook. To the battlefield, no? Take it there and see what gonna happen. You and your checkbook gonna get a hole in your skates. Right? Let me tell you. I know about getting beat scunt by Kulian Black Man wrongfully. Teaming up. I know about duh. I know about getting thrown into a hole for a week, two weeks scunt. All over the place is pissing shit. Simply because it was an attempt for them to humiliate me and break my spirit. I know about duh. That's real life. So when you come to this show, ladies and gentlemen, explain. Ex, ex, you know, just, just expect. That I talking about real life here, you know. And real life ain't easy. It's raw. Right? I said it before and I can say it again. Black people got the saying, and I think, and I think it's a very, very important, right? 
schooly people, y'all got to start apply this saying too, right? They say black reasoning ain't got no seasoning. That mean the truth is the truth, my brother. We, they ain't got sugarcoat it. They ain't got spice it up to me. It, it's as straight as it could get. It's as straight as it could get. Right? So if you think you're going to dance around this whole thing by, by dressing it up, right? And, and trying to make it sound nice. Well, I know about you. Bullet is bullet. Whether you dress it up in a, in a freaking uh, Christmas gift or, or, or you send it through an email. <laughs> it's a bullet. Bullet is bullet. You can't dress it up. And these people, these people are robbing we. They're robbing we of we democracy. They're robbing we of we freedoms. And y'all ain't standing up. Nah, man. Why is Mingo not arrested yet? Why is he not in jail yet? Right? But Mingo alone can't go to jail, ladies and gentlemen. Because I want to show you another video. Right? Because I believe everybody involved in this fraud needs to go to jail. And that is a big, big, big set of people. That is a big, large amount of people. Right? And I can show you. Because we got video right now. I, I, I run this video. I want y'all to tell me what y'all see going on in this video when I run this video here. Right? Pull up my display here. Boom. Switch over. I want y'all to tell me what y'all see going on in this video. I want y'all to identify all of these individuals here in this room who are pulling tapes off of these sealed envelopes. One day watching, playing like she scunt up on she phone, but she ain't got phone credit scunt. She buy friends just hang up on she. Said, you can't use me in this scunt. Right? Boom. Watching back. She watching. Watch she watching why she committing the crime. Watching each other back. Sitting there close. Pulling off tape. Watch this one. This one got pull off tape just now. She said, oh scunt. This might have a winning result for the PPP. Pull it scunt off. Boom. Watch that. I know this GCOM people job. What really going on here, man? Why is it only one race of people working for GCOM, ladies? And nobody ain't answering these questions. Guyana only got black people, man. Yeah, I really don't like me mouth. I can tell you, yeah, I really don't like me mouth, scunt. I know the Right? Even in court, scunt, you got the right to be tried in front of a jury of your peers. That is not my peers. I don't see not one mixed man in there. I don't see a red man. I don't see a coolie man there. That boy look like he related to Patterson though. Right? Sorry. It's only that the eyes straight. So good job, young man. Right? But this is, this is, these are the things that are happening. Right? Right? I'm not taking no calls. Anybody call me right now, got wait, leave a number and call back. Good. Right? Wait, unless they got free money. If they got free money, they send in free money. We can use free money. The revolution's not cheap. In which case, I'll take the call, right? I'm just playing, ladies and gentlemen. I figured that should be a little laugh. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am showing this video here. What the hell are these people really doing? Can somebody explain it to me? Can somebody please, please explain it to me? Why is this woman here taking her time and peeling off this tape? Why is the other man with a stick of glue gluing back things back down together? Why this man here go and stand on purposely to block the camera view because they realize what's going on. They realize all of them need to go to jail. Start lock them up. I guarantee once these people start get locked up, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to start talk. But where's the police? The police ain't coming because the police walk in with them. Where's the military? The military ain't coming because the military walk in with them. Right? These these are the instances that showcase the PPP's inability to properly manage this country as well. Because at the same time, when the PPP was in power, they could have fixed things. This looks completely one-sided. I don't care what anybody says. If you look at Guyana right now, if you look at this as Guyana, you would think there was only one race scunt in Guyana. I got the problem here. Why everybody working in GCOM is just a black person. I ain't saying it's a wrong thing, but I'm saying this scunt look bad. This scunt look bad here. What they really doing there, ladies and gentlemen? All of these people need to go to jail. All of them. This is a fact. 
Now some people could say I lying. Some people could say I lying. But ladies and gentlemen, don't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. Why are these people? Why are these people not not being arrested? Why are these people not getting questioned? You understand what is really going on here? And then and then this has been happening all the time. From the minute you see things like this, this whole election should have stopped. Interim government should have stepped in place. But I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, neither does neither APNU don't want interim government in this country, neither does the PPP want an interim government in this country. And this is a fact. This is a fact. Because real thing, and I can tell you this, everybody got skeletons in their closet. How you want honesty? How you want fairness? The PPP could turn this whole thing around right now, you know. But here's the thing. If you turn the whole thing around, what is the implication for members of the PPP who have also committed crimes? This, this, is, this is where, this is where things get tricky. Because if a fair government stepped into the country, ladies and gentlemen, the word fair should be noted. That is the key word. Fair. If a fair government stepped into this country, how many politicians and their families would go to prison? Think about it. And if you think about that, right? If you think about that, can you honestly tell me that any result that's coming out of this place right now is truly in the public interest? We should have declared a state of emergency since after the second when the international observers were kicked out and were threatened. Right? Well, Anna, it doesn't matter if nobody listened to me. Somebody got to come and bring the news before the people come and bring the judgment. That is a fact. The news, the information must be said. Because the Bible has a saying, you do not bear sin until first you have known what that sin is. After you know, then there's no redemption except judgment. So somebody has to come to make sure that people say, at least we heard it. Because when judgment come, you can't say you didn't hear it. You hear it. So you can't plead, plead ignorance when the Lord come with the sword for chop y'all down, you can't claim that. You can't play that. Right? Somebody came and tell you. Other people came before me to tell you. But they have been getting killed. I tell you, when Valda went and started raising the dead scum, she raised the wrong dead. So they tried to raise some dead for vote. But in the mix there, she raised one more. She raised a man they kill. They don't know it yet. Well, Rodney, they're back and play. And Rodney telling me to tell you all something. Rupert Rupert Narine, you betray his scunt. David Hines, you betray the man. Y'all go as WPA and y'all giant with some of the same people that killed the man. No, man, that man gonna hunt your scunt down. Rodney coming for you in your sleep. You want to raise up Jumbi? They coming for you. And then you turn around and say, Chandra Das is a courtier because he's standing up for democracy? Man, no. I can't fly by. Right? Angela Brown, I see that you don't have a face there. It is probably, it is probably beneficial for all of us to not see. You say... Just now, you do not care about pastor. Why talk about the Bible? Because the Bible and the pastor has nothing to do with one another. Oh, Lord, didn't the Bible tell you many false prophets will arise? But when judgment come, we got to come and we got to clean them up. So what are you really talking about, Angela Brown? What are you really talking about? What are you trying to defend? Come, come up, come up. Say something of intelligence here. Before you talk in nonsense. Mingo's not a pastor scunt. 
Mingo just somebody extorting the people in his community who are ignorant and still trying to follow God. That's how Mingo doing. Mingo is a PNC cell using Christianity as a branch to gain good people and mislead them. But the devil got many spies within his organization. And most of them these days is pastors and politicians. So let me tell you this. And I waited for any pastor to come up and tell me nothing. What Mingo do for he people in the church? Mingo can't even do the right thing, scunt. Let me tell you this. Right? God sent me to expose Mingo because he come under the Lord name in vain. Somebody got to dock to him. How dare you come? Pretend to represent God. God sent me for push the sword in you, sir. So the sword of justice, the sword of the law, it will not stop pushing until it reaches your wicked heart. Until you have learned the true meaning of the term redemption, sir. You claim God, but you are a son of the devil, telling me nonsense. The revolution is real. This is a fact. This is a fact. Okay, wait. We got somebody calling in. Let's see. Good morning, y'all. To tell it as it is or shut up. How may I help you? Good morning. Good morning. You're live on air, right? So before anything, I'm just letting you know you're live on air, right? Okay, let me call you back. All right, good. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I got to let people know, right, before they say anything and say the wrong things, right? But the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, is that these people, in my opinion, everybody in GCOM need to go to jail, scunt, from our side because all of this stuff could have been prevented long, long ago simply by having proper systems in place. But that is my opinion. I might be wrong. And yes, they might say, I need to go to jail. Shit, they've sent me to jail already. You can send me again, scunt. I can just go and get stronger. It make me weaker. Because I went around the body, so you bad, and I had to live. And I could still grow. Right? So the places you fear for go, I went and I grew. So now it's time for me to put you through some of the same lessons you put me through. But I know I passed the class. That's a fact. And the longer you put me, the more you try to put me there, the more cruel I coming back. Well, I could be an angry bird, Angela Brown. That's okay. Right? Uh, you, you, you could say, I'm doing money laundering. I dare you for show me where I'm doing money laundering. I put my face on anything, Scott. Right? Watch Angela Brown. She got to be a PNC spy, some, some troll, Scott. Let me tell you something, miss, or mister, or whatever the hell you want to be, right? Disrespecting the color brown, right, with your stupidity, right? Make sure you know who doing money laundering. We can see money laundering when this government change and Kathy Hughes and all these people. God start answering for where all this money gone, right? Where, where, where all the money that come from Exxon gone. How people almost misplaced 18 million U.S. dollars. Come, come, come. I'm happy you bring it up. I'm happy you bring it up, Angela, because let me tell you this, under fair government's cunt, all of this stuff coming up, you know. You want to talk money laundering? We could talk money laundering. I know I never do it, right? But here's the sweet thing. Even Jesus that you just talked about from church say, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Well, I know I ain't sinful of money laundering, so I got to start pelt like I crazy. In fact, I got the whole quarry waiting behind me, you know. I want you to understand that. Some big, big boulder of truth coming to you. To you. We're going to see. This is the year we jail politicians, ladies and gentlemen. This is the year we bring fairness back to Guyana. And who don't like it? Run, mother scunt. Because justice coming. It coming. I'm telling you, it coming. I'm telling you. Any government that wants to see fair treatment and fair play around all the criminal entities in this country who have been committing some of the biggest crimes and getting away with it. Any government go in place, you make me Minister of Public Security. I guarantee in three months, scunt all the people there in jail. Right where they need to be. With all of these valid, sufficient evidence behind them. Because we've been collecting files for years. We've been watching. Lots of people. Lots of things. Right? And when I mean we, I mean over 30,000 of us here in this country. Very easily. 
Because good people have been uniting. We've been doing so under the cover of darkness because you can't be good and walk around in Guyana. You can get your head boss, right? So this is a fact. If somebody would like to call into the show, the number is 622-1957, right? You could also do so uh, utilizing WhatsApp, right? Right? Um, you know, so, so there's a lot of things that need to happen, Right? We need to ensure that the truth comes out. The truth has to come out. I know people don't like I don't always like the truth because I'm not perfect. Sometimes I get, the, you know, but I got to admit, I got to admit when I'm wrong. And I got to make amends when I'm wrong. Look, the other day, a viewer put up a comment and I misread the comment. And me and the viewer had it out. But then when I went back and I checked, you know what? It was my fault. So what do you think I did? I made amends. I apologize for misinterpreting the information. I humbled myself because we need to be humble to move forward. Man, listen. Listen, let me tell you what. Angela Brown, when violence come here, let me tell you what. And violence may come. It can be caused by Apnu AFC. And when violence come to this country, because of that, half we country dead out. But I tell you what, it may be for the better. Because if y'all can't do this scunt peacefully, y'all gonna see what gonna happen. Because innocent people ain't gonna sit there and take it scunt. Let me tell you this. Right? Yeah. Same crack green, just smoking scunt. Tell me I's a crackhead. I care you stink, pokey. Right? This is why Indian people, and I tell an all Indian people, I tell an all red man, all Amerindian, everybody of a mixed race in this country stand up. Because this is how they want to do it. They want to bully you. They want to bully you in the court. They want to bully you with the police department. They want to bully you with everything. And they don't plan on stopping. So stand up. They done sending spies by me. They don't got their people looking. They've been trying to stop it for a long time. But who God bless may no man cuss. And yeah, I didn't like going into the prison, but Daniel didn't like going into the lion's den. Moses didn't like getting chased out to Egypt. All right? Understand? David didn't like having to sit with the Pharisees. Come on, we could talk religion here, you know. Because the Father has instilled the necessary wisdom in me to come and to lay judgment upon all you hypocrites. You will learn this. And it, out of the mouth of babes it shall come. I still young. I ain't old yet. The truth got to come out. Hi, good morning. You ought to tell it as it is or shut up. Good morning, Papa Stone. Good morning, my brother. You're live on air, right? So I just want to make sure you know. Yes. All right. Um. Um, Thank you. It's in Guyana right now, and the reason why I can say in Guyana right now, is I'm not in Guyana, you are there, you are in the front. You're seeing everything that's going on. I could just assume off of what people are saying or what you see. What is happening in Guyana right now, my, this is my opinion. It's not the opinion of anybody else. This is my opinion. In Guyana, right now I wish everyone could just sit back for a minute and relax and think what will be the next step for the country and the path that we're going right now or the direction that the country is taking right now it's not going to end well for you for me for anybody that's no it's not Chinese it's kid. not and that's because we have it's a bunch of ignorant people do. pushing this thing for the little for the little back ends that you have on the foreign or the diaspora you're going to rely on that. And you're going to need that help. And that's not right. It's not fair to Guyanese. I'm not uh, saying about black people or Chinese. Or Portuguese. Exactly. We speak as Guyanese. I don't speak for any one race. When I speak, I speak as a Guyanese. In general, it's it's going to be the Guyanese people that's going to be hard. Then. Where, again, whether which race, creed, or religion you come from, they're the ones who's going to hurt. They need to sit back. 
think what would be the next step or how can they better that next step and if that calls for of course everybody's going to say well it's easy for me to say this if that calls for a protest a mass protest so be the case don't fall under that dictatorship or that suppression yeah going to happen or hello I think you're breaking up a little now. Yeah, I mean, you're just breaking up. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone can hear you clearly, you know? Yeah. Don't fall under that suppression. Don't fall under that false pretense, which it's only a few Guyanese who is supporting what's going on right now with the coalition government. And you and I don't know what that meant. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't know. agreeing with what's going on. Okay, yeah. well, and those are, those people are in the, in the foreign diaspora. Yeah, some of them are. Some of them are. Some of them are still financing it because they've been benefiting financially. So it's important that right. that the message gets across. Thank you very much, my brother. Appreciate it. One more thing before. One more thing before before if I could. Yeah. Yes, you may. Um, share governance. I am not against share governance, but not with PNC. Yeah, I'm not against shared governance either, but you can't share governance with thieves, dude. Sorry. Or, or, or dictators. That's what I said. What, yeah. I, what I would like to see is, like, the younger, the Dr. Ford, um, Dr. Asha Kisu, and Josh Kanai. Exactly. Ford. These young people need guys. to be there, man. The young people need to be there. Yes. People who have and not been corrupted by, by, by the taint of racism and, and horrible politics. Young people Let's need to be in government for Guyana. Not these old guys. Yes. This got to stop. Thank let's you, my brother. Say, hello? Yes. Yeah, let's just say hypothetically PP win the election. I would like to see PPP draw these guys in, not to be a permanent fiction in PPP, but say, listen, the health system, we have four young doctors. Exactly. We got four in doctors in a political group. They know a lot about the health system. Let them participate in helping to build the health sector for our country. You have Mr. Jonas in the law department. You have Mr. Schumann to represent and tell them, listen, in three years or four years, whenever the next election, you feel that you want to go run for a seat, it's okay. It's okay to do it. Okay. But the main thing is we got to put the country's interests first and not our own. That's, and that's the only way I will agree to share governance. Damn but straight. I don't want to hear anything about share governance or anybody. Would you like to state your first name? Don't state your last name. Remember, there's a lot of trolls out here, right? So... Um, Paul. Paul. All right, Paul. Thank you very much for your contribution, my brother. Stay safe and God bless you and your family. You too. Bye. Yeah, guys. Remember, if you wanted to call in, you wanted to share your opinion, you wanted to say something, especially for those, you know, I encourage trolls because I don't mind eating a troll this morning on TV, right? In fact, I'm a chef. I'll show you how to prepare a troll, right? I see somebody, I think Andrew Jarge. Don't worry, I've been watching your troll himself. And, and, and the other one, uh, something, something brown, right? I can show y'all how, right, Angela Brown, how to prepare a troll today, right? The first thing you need to prepare a troll, you need to season the skunk with the truth, right? And it will sting the troll skin. Oh, it will sting it, right? You have a troll salt on a frog or a crap wool, right? Well, that's, that's what has happened when you start throw truth on them, right? It will burn them up, right? So... It's all right, though, if, she, if she's burnt up. It's okay to be angry, uh, Angela and, and whoever else talking shit, because I've been angry, and that's okay. I just found a cool venue to get it out and to deal with your dishonest asses. That's it, okay? Now, aside from all of the nonsense and everything else that's been going on, right, we do have an international program that we are focusing on, Right. And we are inviting. OK. Yeah. That's why that's why they're rocking with the green is pure crap. Oh, so you got to season them with the truth now and see how fast. Boom. They're gone. Right. But yes, we have an international program that we are doing right now. And we are calling on all cooks and chefs from Guyana or connected to Guyanese around the world. And we plan on doing one week of various dishes from the countries that have been affected the worst from COVID-19, right? For those of you who knows, you know I'm a licensed master chef. I have, you know, cooking shows and cookbooks and a whole bunch of other things that I do, 
Uh, I'm also connected to a network of other cooks in Guyana, also in different parts of the world. But we are looking for persons of Guyanese descent or connected to Guyanese who can participate in this particular program, which will start in approximately two weeks. Right? If you're interested in participating in our international cooking program that we are doing in support of countries that have been affected the worst by COVID-19, you can just private message me, right? Uh, private message me, and then I'll be able to give you the schedule. So, you know, for instance, New York, Spain, uh, you know, uh, UK, China, these countries, we will be cooking meals, right, that are based on their culture, their authentic culture, right, for different days. So we'll be starting off, let's say we start off with New York, we will make American meals. And all you have to do, make a meal in your house. If it's American, make an American cuisine, right? Take a nice picture of it, get a nice picture of yourself, and you're gonna submit it to us and we'll be able to put it up on the international Facebook that we are doing to, to send our support to every other part of the world, right? This is a way for Guyanese from all ages, shape, size, colors, to come together, this has nothing to do with PPP, PNC. I, I ain't got time for that, right? I'm still trying to do something for the Guyanese people because at the same time, dark food, well, I know dark food because since Apnu come out, plenty dark food selling on the road. What people don't understand, Angela, is that's the food they're selling for your children. So know what's going on. I guarantee, Angela, my dog does eat better than you. That's a fact, right? Right? That's okay. Garbage can. That's exactly where Apnu going. In the garbage can. A nice green garbage can too. Right? Gonna look like Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. Right? Is it Oscar? No, it's Cookie Monster. Sorry, I got it twisted. I know there's one in the garbage can though. That's the Apnu uh, mascot. Right? Yeah, we gotta block her. Can't block her yet though until I come off the show. Then I'm gonna block her. You don't even know if it's a her. Could be, could be a guy pretending to be a her. It could be one of GCOM staff because they're vexed right now that they're, they're getting skinned up. Because how are we going to call for only Mingo to go to jail and Mingo had disciples? The devil has disciples, you know. If Jesus had disciples, the devil got disciples. You understand? By the way, everybody, it's very easy to deal with accounts like this one here. Everybody, please view Angela Brown's account that has no pay, face, has no information, and just report it to Facebook as a fake account. No, man, there's one, there's a green one that is being a garbage can, John Smith. You can love Apnu. That's okay. Plenty of people love lawlessness. It don't mean it has helped them. Right? You know? So, that's okay. Right? Well, let me tell you this, and I want this to go out there, and this is why they scared right now, right? And this is why they scared. And ladies and gentlemen, if you understand, then you would start acting now. All East Indian people, all people of other ethnic races and everything in Guyana, if you feel that you are being victimized by one race, now is the time to stand up. They're scared. They're nervous. They're weak, and it's time to finally finish this, this plague of PNC racism that is in our country. We, we get we foot where we can put it on the serpent neck and chop off the head of this serpent and done it once and for all and get rid of the racial politics in this country. So my advice, ladies and gentlemen, is take advantage of this opportunity and finish off these racial people. Finish it off. Finish it off once and for all. And yes, it may lead to a civil war because them they self, them they self want it. But I ain't going to encourage you to sit there and take licks every day, ladies and gentlemen, because I, for one, have seen that that bears no results except scars. If they pushing for a civil war, do not be scared for stand up for your rights. I'm telling you this. Them are so scared for that too, you know. I ain't know about you. Just for the men, I can tell all you men right now, make love to your wives. Enjoy it. For tomorrow may be a day of reckoning. For the women, love your husbands. Because from the war come and gone, some of us may not be here anymore. But we will 
lead the way for our children. We will leave a country where you don't have to worry about getting your chain snatched off of you under the clock or some thief man dressing up as meat man coming in and kicking down. You ain't going to have to worry about none of that because I tell you this, if they force a civil war in this country, the most brutal thing that you have seen in this century, Scunt, will be unleashed upon this country without mercy for anything. Because justice will be served. Whether it's serving raw like steak tartare, or whether it's serving bubbling like a scalloped potatoes, it will come upon your plate and be served upon your head if you are not in the right position. All I ask in for for this country is to give us fairness. And ladies and gentlemen, a lot of us are affected because we are not getting the fairness but the time for talk is almost at an end. Because they they self out of Joseph Harmon, Mount Carl for war, and his ignorant supporters feel that they gonna win this war. They don't know we've been hoping for this for a long time coming, scunt. We've been preparing for this for a long time coming, scunt. But don't worry, I'll be the first body to hit the ground so that hell can be unleashed upon all of those who feel that they're getting away with this corruption. That is a fact. So I call in on everybody, all of you who have been affected, who are being attacked verbally, who your freedom of speech can't even go without being criticized. Stand up. Stand up for your rights. Every major country has went through a horrible stage in their development. It is time for us to close the book on our horrible stage. Not true? Oh yeah, I want this continue. How much headache we gonna handle with cheering? Tell me. It is time to unite as a one Guyana. Indians, black, Chinese, Portuguese, you name it. You there in this country, it is time to unite because they ain't going to stop until we meet them at their front door. Trust me on this. The best way to stop a bully is to let you know that you, is let him know that you can destroy Scunt. It's time to stand up, ladies and gentlemen. I'll talk to y'all later. God bless. Have a good day. And to those who don't like this, that's okay. They crucified Jesus. Who the fuck is me? Bye-bye.